much, uh, Shamoon Hashmi Saab, for that introduction. Uh, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, uh, Honorable Yusuf Raza Gilani Saab, uh, ex Prime Minister, pa uh, Islamic Republic of Pakistan, uh, Honorable Speaker, National Assembly of Pakistan, Honorable Sadeem Manviwala Saab, uh, Senator and Chairperson of the Finance Committee in Senate and uh, Honorable Madam Rumina Khurshid Alam, convener for the SDG Secretariat in Pakistan. My esteemed guests from across the Asia-Pacific regions, excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, assalamu alaikum and a good afternoon. I would like to start with the very basics of what the Sustainable Development Goals mean. Sustainability at its very core, essentially, means that our younger generations and our upcoming generations are able to enjoy and reap the joys of Mother Earth that at least as well as our older generations did, if not better. And therefore, when we talk about sustainable development, while we do understand that some of our countries, our fellow countries are facing an issue of declining population, most of our region is at, the, at, at this point in time faced with a youth bulge. Asia Pacific region hosts about 55% of the total global youth uh, that is there. Pakistan alone has 150 million people under the age of 30. We have 100 million people under the age of 15. So the youth is no longer the future of this world. The youth is actually the present, the youth is air hair, and there is no dialogue, there is no intervention possible or can be made successful without inclusion of young people in every single dialogue that happens, whether it is in the public sphere, in the private sphere, in our international conferences, it is absolutely imperative to add and hear the voice of young people who will eventually be facing the consequences if we are unable to achieve the sustainable development goals. Whether it's malnutrition, food security, whether it's access to health, uh, whether uh, it, these micro level issues, right to shelter life, to transnational issues like climate change, every single aspect is directly related uh, to the inclusion of young people in our dialogues. Similarly, while we talk about young people, almost half of the population of the world is women. It is absolutely, again, imperative to ensure that the voice of the women, the voice of all marginalized communities is heard when we talk about attaining sustainable development goals. Gender parity, gender equity is something that we all are trying to achieve but are quite far for, from it uh, as an international community overall. And while it is one of the sustainable development goals, uh, I believe that without the inclusion of women, the overall achievement of SDGs will be impossible uh, in, case we're able to, in case we fail to include women in our dialogue. When we talk about uh, sustainable development goals, when we talk about the future, we realize that the global landscape, whether it's employment, whether it's education, is changing by the hour. The technological advancement, the changes in technology that are taking place it is, it's actually becoming hard to keep up with the kind of employment opportunities that are available right now and to match them with the kind of education that is being imparted across the globe. And this is not just a Pakistan-specific problem. This is an international issue that we need to address. If we want to achieve our sustainable development goals, we have to be ready for it. And we have to be ready for it by ensuring that our younger population and every, each and every member of the society, including people with special abilities, including religious minorities, including ethnic uh, minorities, everyone has to be included when it comes to access to education and access to education which has a future. The jobs of the future are very different and will be very different from the jobs of the present. But the question is that are we ready for when that time comes? Are we ready for the change of pace that is happening uh, in, the, in the global scenario when we look at, uh, the, look at the larger picture? In this regard, uh, I would like to quickly conclude by saying that Asia Pacific is one of the lowest contributors to carbon emission across the globe. 
yet our countries are some of the most vulnerable. So I believe that it is the need of the hour that we come together, that we put our energies together in answering and addressing all of these issues, starting from education, malnutrition, gender issues, uh, food security, access to health. We come together, we unite, and we formulate a single stance when we talk to the rest of the world. The rest of the world, which is a larger contributor to the issue of climate change, and we ensure that our right to the, carbon to the climate financing, to the carbon emission financing, is actually duly upheld. And until and unless we join and we unite together and put our voice together to ask and demand for our rights, uh, it will be very difficult to attain them. In the end, I would just like to congratulate Honorable Speaker Raja Parvez Ashraf Saab on the successful completion uh, of this very uh, fruitful dialogue and two-day seminar. I'd also like to appreciate Madam Rumina Khurshid Alam, who's the convener of Pakistan's uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goal Secretariat at the National Assembly of Pakistan, her team, the team of the National Assembly of Pakistan itself, our staff, for conducting this event flawlessly. We understand and we realize uh, the months of efforts, tireless efforts, uh, that go behind uh, uh, preparing and then conducting uh, such platforms. Lastly, I would like to thank our honorable guests from across Asia Pacific, our members of the parliament, our fellow colleagues, uh, for coming to Pakistan, for honoring us with your presence, and I hope that you had a good stay. I hope that you got to see Islamabad, uh, the beautiful city that it is, uh, and you were not just confined to the hall rooms. And uh, we're ho we hope that we'll be able to, and we would like to welcome you all uh, again soon in Pakistan. Thank you very much. <laughs>